Good morning, Perform 24 family. Levi Jago here, back with another video. Today is September 30th, which means tomorrow is October 1st. And this year, 2020, October 1st is a big day. So every year, October 1st is the first day of Squattober. If you don't know what Squattober is, Squattober is an online event that Sorenex holds through their Instagram account every October. So every day on their Instagram page, they're gonna be posting a workout. This workout is designed to improve one lift, the barbell back squat. We are gonna be squatting every single weekday for the month of October. And at the end of the month, we're all gonna go for a new one rep max. I've known about Squattober for a while, but this year is the first year that I'm personally gonna be participating. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. Okay, so the first reason that I'm gonna be participating is because I'm not gonna be writing the program, right? All I'm gonna to have to do is follow the official Squattober Instagram page and they are gonna be posting the workouts for me. I'm not gonna to have to personally organize and personally program my training. Right now, in my stage of life, that's very appealing. I'm not gonna have to put the time into building a program. All I have to do is show up and execute. This may seem like a dirty little secret to some of you guys, but this is actually pretty common in the strength and conditioning world. One of the biggest ways that we learn from one another is by executing other coaches' programs. I'm looking forward to one, having the mental release of not building this myself, but number two, I'm probably gonna learn a few things because I'm not writing this for myself. This is how I'm gonna experiment. This is how I'm going to experience new training. The second reason that I decided to participate this year is because again, the idea of just working to optimize one lift is very appealing. Okay, so let's eliminate distraction and let's just dial in on one movement. I know that every single day, I'm gonna be working on one single movement the barbell back squat. Personally, that fits the way that my brain works very well. And again, this is just kind of a stage of life thing, but I think working on one thing in my training is also going to help me focus on one thing outside of the gym, okay? That mindset is gonna cross over very well. I am working on something big in my personal life, but I'm not ready to share that yet. Maybe by the end of the month, I'll share it. So for the next few weeks, I know that the only thing that matters in here is what's going on with my barbell back squat. I really like that challenge. Okay, reason number three that I'm participating in Squattober this year is because I'm an awful back squatter. I've never been a great back squatter. That's not something that I work on very often at all. Back squat hasn't been a regular part of my program in a long time. And so I'm going to be facing my weakness, my personal weakness head on. That is another appealing part of this challenge. I know that I'm gonna be addressing a weakness or at least I'm gonna be battling a weakness and hopefully at the end of the month, that weakness has improved. I'm gonna be crazy sore. I'm probably not gonna feel all that great, but I also know that if I raise the floor on one of my weak points, then my whole physical capability, my whole physical state is gonna rise with it. And at the end of the day, what's the bigger point of training? Also, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't care about what my 1RM is. Of course I care. It needs to go up. So reason number four that I'm participating in Squattober this year is the community. Squattober is something that happens every October and every single year I've seen this grow and grow and grow. As soon as I announced on my Instagram this, this year that I'd be participating, a whole bunch of my old buddies from all over the nation started hitting me up in the DM. So, I know that those guys are participating. I know they're gonna be talking trash to me. I'm looking forward to that quite a bit. I've connected with some old buddies that I haven't talked to in a long time, and I'm looking forward to kind of going back and forth with them this month. Also, obviously, there's a whole bunch of people participating that I don't know, and I have a feeling that I'm gonna meet some new people that I find interesting. Respect to Sorenex for creating the community around this event. That's what really makes this thing special. Okay, so now we know why I'm personally participating in Squattober. But what does that mean for the entire Perform 24 family? So the biggest reason right off the gate is that 
my clients are training with me for my program, right? Squattober is not my program, and I'm not going to give that to a client that is coming to train with me. Second, barbell back squatting every single day isn't really appropriate for a lot of my clients. But you best believe that I secondhand signed up all of the Perform 24 family, and some of the Squattober themes are definitely going to show up in their training. So here's the game plan as of right now. Every single week, I'm gonna have a new squat challenge. Every Monday, this challenge is gonna change. But for the month of October, the whole Perform 24 family is gonna owe sore necks some type of squat. The first week, the challenge is 100 body weight squats. Every single time somebody comes into the gym to train with me, they owe sore necks 100 body weight squats. You can do it before the workout, you can do it after the workout, you can split it up and do it in the middle of the workout. I don't care as long as you get to 100. I will be releasing week two challenge when we get there. You gotta earn it. Anyways, I'm very excited to participate. Tomorrow is day one. I think they release the first workout today around noon or sometime in the afternoon. Um, so I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing yet. I gotta wait, I gotta check in on their Instagram and see what day one will look like. Tomorrow's a Thursday. I'm assuming that Thursday and Friday are gonna be pretty awful and then we'll have the weekend to recover. I wrote a blog post about this and in this blog, there's links to the Sorenex Instagram and the Squattober Instagram, um, as well to the Sorenex website. Uh, there is a t-shirt that you can buy if you're participating and you wanna, you wanna rock the tee. So I'll put links to further detail in the description. If you guys are interested in following along my Squattober journey, I'm gonna be posting and uploading feedback all throughout the month of October. It's just kind of a fun way to enhance the community. All of my clients are gonna be able to see me suffering just like they're suffering. And then all my buddies around the nation are gonna see how bad I'm destroying them. I'm gonna shut it down for right now. I got things to do. Enjoy your last day of September. See you tomorrow for day one.